Good morning, internet. Happy rainy Saturday. My original plan for today was to not leave the house. Let me explain. So I have been sick for a little over a month now, <clears throat> and I'm really tired of it. And what I've determined is happening is I have turned into a Victorian woman in that if I go outside for more than, I don't know, five minutes or so when it's cold or rainy or God forbid a combination of the two, I end up on life support for the next three months. So my original plan was to stay home and to try and fully kick this this weekend, but I had to go to the grocery store. So I figured since I'm already out, I might as well go impulse buy a toaster oven. Crate and Barrel has the one that I've been looking at for a while. It's super cute. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere and I'm probably the last person in the world to be getting it, but I don't care. It's gonna be mine now. I'm so excited. Crate and Barrel was successful. I was in there a little longer than I wanted to be, but that's okay. Got the toaster oven. Also got a new utensil holder for my kitchen. It's marble. It'll be really pretty. And I got a new ladle because uh, Justin broke ours on rice somehow. Not sure how that happened. We're back. <clears throat> I actually don't know what I want to do today. I've been so focused on doing stuff outside and I've been neglecting a lot of my inside projects. So there's a lot of stuff that I could be working on, but none of the projects in particular are speaking to me today. So I need to finish the curtains in the living room, even though I'm kind of dreading it because I now officially hate the shears and I want to do something different. I actually saw these at Urban Outfitters. I think the attachment method makes them a little young looking, so probably not gonna do that unless I can figure out a way to remove that and then maybe do like clips and rings or something. I don't know. I just, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't think about that carefully enough. I, I hate the shears. I hate the hardware. I still like the red curtains, the, like the rust colored curtains themselves. The rest of it is just probably like one of the worst design decisions I think I've ever made. <laughs> and I just, I just wanted, to change the blinds so badly because I hate those mini blinds. Ooh, ooh, I know what we can do. We can unbox the toaster oven. Should I hang the phone from the ceiling fan again like I did when I was filming wrapping my mom's gift? I think I will, that was fun. Guys. This is the cutest toaster oven ever. Cord just barely reaches the outlet, but just barely counts. We also set up my utensil container. This is gonna be such a cute little area here. That's cute. I like that a lot. I think it's actually looking a little bit basic but I eventually want this room to have color. So I think it'll be okay to have some black and white appliances and you know new, more neutral items if the cabinetry actually has color. Okay, so what I think you do is you take this tiny little cup, which I am definitely going to lose. And I guess you fill it with water and then you put it up here. And then that like, creates steam, which makes better toasting experience or something. I, I will find out in a second. Okay. All right, moment of truth. It's an English muffin, it's good. It's a, you know, semi-warm to toasted English muffin with butter on it, so 
How bad could that be? It's like I want another one because I want to give the thing the opportunity to actually toast this. I don't know if I actually want another English muffin right now. All right, so I did make another one because I have no self-control. And I put it in for like five minutes this time and that's pretty good. I might wanna put it in a little bit longer, but it did in fact toast it this time. That's it. That is it. This is so good. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, no more English muffins. I don't really know what else to do with the rest of my day. It stopped raining, so I feel like I should do something outside. But another part of me is trying to stop myself because it's, I don't know, it's 48 degrees, so it's not like super cold, but it's still like wet and windy. And I really should just stay inside and try and get over whatever protracted upper respiratory malady this thing is. Maybe I'll clean the kitchen. Because like every day I text Justin while he's at work about some kind of like destructive thing that I want to do in the kitchen and I'm probably driving him insane. So I'm just gonna talk to you about it instead. Welcome to my total disaster of a kitchen. I know I just cleaned this not that long ago, but the problem is like I don't have places for things. So I keep things out and then they kind of accumulate. So I need to find homes for things right now. The layout of this kitchen just has so many problems. It, it, it needs a full gut remodel and probably needs like a new layout and everything, but I have a lot of other, I have a lot of other home improvement projects that I wanna do before that, so, and this will all be, also be really expensive, so I'm holding off for the foreseeable future. I wanted to do like a non-destructive, but you know, major reorganization kind of thing here. I wanted to move this island thing to the middle of the room to see if it actually, if I like it more as an actual island. But then I can't keep the toaster there. Then I gotta move the toaster somewhere else. So I gotta find a place for the toaster. The problem is there's like, there's like no outlets. I've complained about the outlets in here before. There's like two outlets in this entire house. It's very, very difficult to do anything. I would pretty much have to put the toaster like here because that's the only place where there's an outlet. Maybe that's what I will do right now. I'm going to I'm going to reorganize for the next few hours and try and get this looking semi acceptable and also make it and not just I'm not just going to like put stuff away in places that don't make sense. I want it to be functional. I'm going to see what I can get done in the next couple hours making this more functional. This cabinet is tin fish snacks and pasta and then over here this is snacks and dog treats and flour this is coffee and tea and then this is the spice cabinet we're gonna leave the spice cabinet alone that, that has like a, a built-in lazy susan that like fits that cabinet specifically so we're just gonna leave that one alone the other three we're gonna reorganize. Guys, I just made a really dumb mistake. I kind of wish I caught it on camera. <sighs> I had a bag of popcorn up there, just the kernels. I like making popcorn on the stove sometimes. I just tried to pull it out and it was like really wedged in that cabinet and uh, it like snagged on the hinge and it uh, opened and now there is, now there are popcorn kernels all over the floor. I mean, all over the floor. They were in my sleeve. Uh, the dogs are like debating eating them. Oh my God. I can't believe that. Ugh. Anyway, I cleaned the popcorn out of that cabinet. I actually think I like this. So we've got the baking stuff, which I moved from the cabinet to the right of the refrigerator move that most of that over here and then consolidate the other stuff that was over here and we've got non bougie snacks so like the the trail mix and stuff which i sort of consolidated what are you doing oh there's a squirrel 
non-bougie snacks. And then bougie snacks includes tin fish and fancy crackers right now, but might also expand to include other things. I think I have just enough energy left in me to move the toaster to what I think will be its final home and then move the island. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really care for it here. It's, I wanted this to be kind of the zone where I take things off the stove. There's just no great place for this right now. I guess this is, as this is just, I'm just gonna have to, I guess we're just gonna have to go with this for now. All right, here's the island. You know, that just might work. I have to test it out tomorrow when I make breakfast. You know what, that actually ended up being a productive day. I am happy with that. I had no idea what I wanted to do today. I'm actually glad that I left the house. I sincerely hope that this doesn't set me back on recovering from whatever this illness is. But even if it does a little bit, I think it's worth it in the end of the day. <clears throat> glad I have the toaster oven now. And I, I think that this is a more usable kitchen layout than the one I had before. So I'm happy. I'm happy with today. Anyway, I gotta go. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It has been real. If you enjoyed this nonsense and want to see more of it, be sure to subscribe. There's a new video at 9 a.m. Eastern time every Saturday. And in case you forget that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you never hit, miss a video. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.